Hey there, everyone. It's Kathy Mazak, and I'm coming to you live for a little demo today. Um, I'm going to talk about and show you how to create um, a template for a writing project in Trello. So I've been talking about um, the benefits of breaking projects into tasks and using templates and workflows um, in some lives for the past week or so. So if you'd like to see those, those all stay up on my page so you can always scroll back. But what I wanted to do today was give you a real kind of how to, this is what it looks like to create a, um, a template for your writing and not go that deep into why we should be using templates and everything, but just give you like the how to uh, of it in Trello. So uh, if you've seen some of my live videos before, you'll know that Trello is what I use for academic project management. It's a pretty straightforward, um, easy to use project management software that I'm going to show you in a second when I share my screen. And that a big thing that I talk about all the time is how we need to learn how to break writing projects into tasks and that tasks go on our to-do list, not projects. Um, and that could be something that's tripping you up right now. So let's dig in. I'm going to share my screen with you. And this is a, so here's what Trello looks like. This is just, you know, the board that's up right now. <laughs> and um, the first step is, well, the first step is to sign up for Trello. So you can just go to Trello.com and make a free account. Trello is free. I use the free version. So there, you can upgrade, but they're mostly for like businesses and, and big teams and stuff like that. So basically Trello has three parts. Um, the board, so you have different boards, a board for each project, um, and sometimes, you know, you can have different types of boards as well, but you have the board, you have lists on the board that go horizontally, and you have vertically cards on the list, um, and then you can click on a card and there's a lot of functionality on what we call the back of the card. But for today what I'm going to do is show you how to set up a, tr a template board, what I mean by a template board. So I'm going to go ahead and click on boards and if you just scroll all the way to the bottom, I have a gazillion boards, <laughs> you can click create a new board. So after you've created your Trello account, um, you're going to create a new board and I'm going to, we're going to be, so this is like an example of a writing project board. And so the idea here is that you would use this board over and over again every time you write this type of thing. And I'm going to do it for a very simple, straightforward writing project like a book review. Now, when I name this board, because it's a template board, I'm going to name it template. And truthfully, a template board is not um, anything different, is like not different at all than just a board. I just label it template and then I use it as a template. Okay, so I don't want you to think that Trello has some kind of special template feature. No, um, that's not how it works. We're just creating boards and calling them templates and then copying them. And I'm going to show you how to do that. I just set my board to public because I might want to share it. So, um, and then I'll click create board. Do, 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 it's thinking. Okay, and then we got this beautiful background. I'm just going to do a couple of things here. I'm going to click off this message. I can change the background. I usually like to have to do something with what I'm, <laughs> um, what I'm talking about or what I'm writing about. So since it's a book review template, I'm going to go ahead and make a book the background. Okay, I like how that looks. So then we can get rid of this. Great. Now I have my title of the board. It's labeled template. <clears throat> and now I'm going to add lists to the board. So in this first column, this is these are the to-dos or tasks that I'm going to have to complete in order to complete writing my book review. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and I brainstormed out on a piece of paper these uh, to-dos beforehand. So I'm just going to make a card for each task. Okay, so um, depending on how you come about writing a book review, right, let's imagine that you heard of a book that you want to review. A lot of times book reviews are invited, um, but let's just say you heard of a book that you want to review, so maybe one thing is contact the publisher for an exam copy. 
or a review copy. Okay, and then you might need to pitch your review to a journal. You at least have to identify the journal, right, that you want to publish a review in. Obviously, you have to read the book. <laughs> That's uh, obvious, right? And then I'm just going to make a card for, like, the different kind of things that I think you need to do when you are creating a book review. So um, you need to be able to connect or place the book in the existing literature. You need to identify, identify major contributions. Um, you need to uh, recommend an audience or who should read it. You might want to identify, at least for your, it will make your writing easier if you kind of say three critiques and three great things <laughs> about the book. Um, and, you know, there's probably other things that you could add here, but let's just leave it like this for now. Um, I'm going to make I'm going to show you one other thing. On the major contributions card, I'm going to add a checklist on the back. And I'm going to think about what are the major contributions to theory, to methodology, perhaps. Um, maybe to practice if you're reading an education book or something else. What, how do the... Um, how do results change the field? Okay, so these are major contributions, and I just thought, well, you know, sometimes when you're reviewing, uh, one or more of these is salient, so you probably want to think about all of them. All right, so now we have a book review template board, and we have a kind of generic list of the things you got to do in order to complete a book review project, right? So we have that. Um, now it's time to write our review. We probably need then a little workflow. Um, and so I'm going to use the most simple workflow, um, which is to do, doing, and done. Oh, I have a couple other things I want to add to this list. I want to um, add, um, yeah, proofread. Proofread and review references, review check references, references, and review check formatting. Okay, so those are like the, the last little things, right? Um, and then actually submit to, to journal. Now we're talking. Okay, so you can see what I did here is I, you know, a book review is a pretty simple and straightforward thing to write. I created a very generic to-do list that I can use every time I write a book review. Now, the benefit of this, as I've been preaching in these live videos, is that now you don't have to think about how to break this book review project into tasks because it's done. And a couple of other things for you as well. Notice that each task is not exactly equal in size. Once the thing is written and polished, submitting it might take you 10 minutes, right? Um, depending on, you know, how to navigate the submission system or send an email to the editor, however you, you, the actual submission process works. Whereas reading the book will take you hours, right? So the idea here is not to chunk tasks, like chunk a project into tasks that are all exactly the same size, but rather to make a comprehensive list of all the steps that it's going to take to go from I have zero <laughs> to I have a book review. So that's that. Um, another thing you can do in Trello, just to show you while I'm here, to show you some functionality, let's say... You know, you can put a due date. Let's say the due date's next week. That was a tight, tight timeline, but whatever. And as you get close to this due date, it will turn yellow and then red when you've passed it. 
if you meet, check off something um, and you meet the deadline, you can click it and it'll turn green, which I love. And it also marks the card complete. Okay. All right. So that's how you make the template. Now, another thing that you can do is connect any of these cards or all of these cards to the place that you will actually be doing the book review writing. So real quick, um, there's a couple of ways that you can use Trello here. One way would be to go ahead and take notes directly on these cards. That's a little clunky when you go to sit down to write because you have to be turning over the cards, but it is a place like to capture your notes. And Trello does have a phone app. So I could totally see reading the book and taking notes directly into Trello. But I would recommend you actually hooking up your Google Docs to a Google Doc to Trello. So here I am in Google Docs. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and, sorry, this is in, on top of the share button. There we go. Um, click share, get the can edit um, link and copy it and put it on the back of the card where I'm going to actually be writing. Alternatively, so that's one way with Google Docs that works well, you can also um, go ahead and click here and get um, and actually put the Google Doc as an attachment. I just have the wrong Google Drive connected right now, which is why I didn't do that. So if you clicked there and you go to Google Drive, it's going to pull up my university Google Drive, and that's not the one I'm using right now. But you could just navigate to the drive there, and then you have basically connected your Trello card to, um, to your Google Drive doc where you're writing. Now, that is how that goes. And then the little workflow is just, you know, like, okay, I'm doing this. And then when I'm done, I move it over here. And the lovely thing is that all of this, you know, you get this beautiful done list when you're finished. Now, the last thing is I just want to show you how to copy the board. So this is a template board, right? So we actually don't want to have this hooked up. <laughs> I don't want this there because this is a template board. So let's say that I'm ready to write an actual book review. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on, well, what are you going to do? Hold on. <laughs> over here. You're going to click over here. There's a link that says show menu. Um, and you're going to see the menu and you're going to click more. Hold on. I have things that are. Okay. You're going to click more and you're going to click copy board. And, um, you know, I'm going to give it a new title book review for blah title. Okay. So then you create the board. And you just basically have taken your template and made it into the actual thing that you're going to, um, that you're going to, that you're going to work on, right? So the idea is we keep template boards and we can find that easily again here. We keep template boards in Trello. We keep the template boards here and then we copy them when they become active boards on active projects that we're working on. Hi, Natanya. So uh, let me look through my list. Okay, I did all the things. If you have any questions, I will happily answer them in the chat um, or comments after um, this. I'm about to finish. So after and also after I log off here, I am going to drop in the comments a place where you can go and get my free Trello templates. So I have a few Trello templates that um, I packaged up into a little course for free. Actually, I'll do this while, can I do this while we're together? Yeah, why not? Um, kathymanbeck.teachable.com. So um, let me see if it's here. If not, I'll embarrass myself live, but that's okay. <laughs> Whatever. All right, so if you click here, Trello templates for academic writing project management, of course it's enrolled. I'll just send you here. I'm going to add this in the comments. 
And so if you go right there, you will be able to click on here um, and let's log out. And you can basically sign up for this little course. It's a course. I put it in quotes because it's, um, it's, you know, here we go. Now I'll drop this link in the chat. That's how we do it. And all you'll have to do is click here, click get the templates for free. You have to make a little username and password. Um, and basically what there is in here is it shows you step by step, you know, how to download for how to download, uh, sign up for Trello, which is free, download the boards, copy the boards, um, get uh, this workshop if you want more templates and then bonus things. So I have my ideal week bonus video here and some different things if you sign up for these free academic writing project management templates. You're welcome, Natanya. Thank you for joining me live. Um, tomorrow I will be live once again and tomorrow I'm going to be talking about creating workflows. So today I showed you a su really simple to do, doing, done workflow. Um, and tomorrow I'm going to talk to you about a little bit more complicated, but super useful. I think when you see this, you're going to be like, oh, that's going to save me a lot of emails <laughs> of workflow for um, working with a student on their thesis. Okay. So if you're a thesis advisor, um, but the basic workflow applies for any kind of collaborative project. So tune in tomorrow. I'll be emailing you with the link to tune in um, for our, my live video tomorrow about creating a workflow to work with your um, student on the, on his or her thesis. Um, and I, I really enjoyed showing you these videos. Good morning, Carolina. It's nice to see you. Um, and I'm glad that you're using, uh, that you're using Trello to kind of get on top of your, uh, get on top of your life. I really do use it for everything, including like planning trips and going to conferences and all really everything. Um, it's such a nice container for so you just could, your brain can just run with different ways to use this very simple piece of software, very visual. So I hope you're having a great day and I will see you live tomorrow.